One fun fact about John Diefenbaker is that he really enjoyed an A&W vanilla milkshake, which you see him holding at his last campaign in 1979. Did you know that John Diefenbaker actually smoked? So working late nights at his office, he actually would smoke his cigarettes or cigars. And instead of burning them out in an ashtray, he actually burnt them out on his desk here. Did you know that this bed right here originally belonged to Sir John A. Macdonald? John Diefenbaker received this bed as well as the sofa downstairs. Have you ever heard of the saying sleep tight? Well, this style of bed is actually where the saying comes from. These knobs on the end of the bed were actually used in order for a string to attach to them. So instead of a bed frame or box spring, the bed would lay on top of the string. So every night you would have to tighten the string in order for you not to fall through. So over here on the wall, we actually have a Get Well scroll. This was given to John Diefenbaker as a Get Well letter uh, during the Canada Day celebration where he couldn't attend to uh, because he was falling ill. This was from PA and surrounding area and there are over a thousand signatures on this scroll. See this bottom left hand corner photo? Well, John Diefenbaker to celebrate becoming Prime Minister, he actually went fishing and an RCMP officer came up to him to give him a ticket for overfishing. But then a individual came running up to him to congratulate him on becoming Prime Minister. So the RCMP officer actually never ended up giving him the ticket. These two corner photos were taken in Waska Sioux. And then this top hand photo, this was John Diefenbaker and one of his dogs, Happy. He actually had three golden retrievers. They were all named Happy, but he had them obviously at separate times. One of John Diefenbaker's biggest accomplishments was creating the Canadian Bill of Rights. In 1960, he set out a set of laws and freedoms for Canada to follow. They are equivalent to the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms we have now in our law today.